In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a video background on your WordPress website using a combination of the Elementor page builder, the Ocean WP theme, which I find is the best theme for Elementor, I don't know, and of course WordPress. We're also going to see how to do some cool uh, additional effects like this texture you can see on the blue part of the ocean, and of course how to set up this nice transparent header. All right, so this is all set up on our homepage, but if we click to our about page, there's pretty much nothing, so let's recreate it. So the first step is just to click edit page. All right, so if you needed to make yourself a new page, go ahead and do that right here at the top like you normally would. And the first thing we're gonna wanna do is in template, make sure it's just default template because the Elementor canvas option will usually remove a lot of the Ocean WP settings, which we actually wanna use here so that we can set up that transparent header. We're gonna use a combination of the Ocean WP settings in this panel, as well as the Elementor to build the page. So make sure that's just default template. Next, come on down and in content layout, change it to full width, and we're gonna disable the margins just so there's no space confusing us. We're also gonna go to the header area and we're gonna disable the top bar, but enable the header because that's where our navigation menu and our logo are gonna go. And we're gonna go to title and we're actually gonna disable the page title because that's just really annoying. And now we're gonna update our settings. All right, now we can proceed and actually edit with Elementor. So let's click on the blue button. Maybe it's in the middle of your screen. Alrighty, and of course I've already added a logo up here and a menu, and I've done that through the standard appearance customize area of WordPress, which we've, most of us have seen before. So to begin, we just wanna click add new section. All right, and now we're just gonna click the single column. Perfect. Now hover on your new section and click to its settings right here. Great, and we're just gonna to wanna to click style. So now we see in background, we get three different types. We get the classic, the gradient, and the background video, which we of course want. Now pop down to video link and just paste in the YouTube video link of choosing. It can be tough to find the right video because they tend to have a lot of different text on top of them and annoying people talking at the beginning, which I know a lot about. But believe me, if you search enough, you will find a good video link and let us know if you need any recommendations. I'm actually gonna remove the question mark autoplay equals one part. I don't think we need that because it should play automatically. Great. Or if there's any T equals certain seconds, get rid of that too. And our video should fill itself in. So now let's go back to layout and let's go ahead and stretch that section. Very good. So now let's give ourselves some space to play around in on top of that video. Click on advanced and then in padding, just unlink it so that we can make a different value for each one. We're gonna set 100 on top and 150 on the bottom. Perfect. Next, we'll just click on the nine boxes to add some more content. So what we wanna do is add a heading, just drag it in on top of that plus icon, click the nine boxes. We're gonna add a divider, go back. We're also gonna add a text editor beneath that divider and finally go back and we're gonna add in just a simple button. Button didn't like it. Come on button, there we go. Now let's play around with some styling, and if you're wondering, we're gonna add that fallback image on top of the video at the end, just so we don't have to look at it right now. So we can click on our heading, and we can go ahead and click Style, and in Style, we're gonna open up Typography, and this is where you wanna do most of your editing on text, especially in the text editor, which we'll see. I know a nice font called Poppins that we're gonna to use today. There we go, and we can also make it bigger. Just drag that over. And of course we can change the style to normal italic oblique. We can transform it to make it uppercase and we can make the weight more thin, which I really like doing. There we go, nice thin sort of font. And now let's update it. Now let's scroll back up and click content and we just wanna actually change what the text says. Perfect, and in this section we can also center it. Maybe we'll go back to style now and we'll change the text color so it's a little bit more legible. We can grab a white color Click off and we can make that even bigger. Beautiful. Now for our divider line, it's a little hard to click, but you can click somewhere around it and it should open up. We're just gonna make that a little bit thicker. So three is a good amount. We can go to the style and make it a double, a little fancier. We can also change its color to of course white, so it's super clear. And then what I like doing is making the width something like 25 or 30% and just moving it so it's in the center. Beautiful. Now let's work on our text editor. And right here, you're gonna be tempted to go ahead and highlight it and change the color right here, but that's gonna put a span or a P style on the text in the text editor here, which you don't want. 
we actually just want to go to style center it here change the text color here and of course we can change that typography which is the fun part okay we're going to go with laura that's a cool elegant font just bring that size up a little bit and of course we want to change what it says we can change the line height to make the text shrink or expand and then we can update it now let's just go change what the text says in our text editor let's go back to content and we're going to change this to just another beautiful beautiful now for our button just click down here by the button to open up its settings let's center it we can right click on top of one of our links like the contact page to copy the link address and then we can just pop that in right over the hashtag cool now let's go to button style now we're going to get rid of our buttons background color by clicking here and dragging this second scroller all the way down let's give it a border radius of zero across the board and a border type of solid so we're going to make this a nice transparent button with the white border we just have to make sure that border has a width of say two pixels and that color will be white beautiful lastly you might want to animate your button i don't know it can get it a few more clicks here and there just click advanced come down to entrance animation and we can go with something like a da -da 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 bounce cool try that one out i think it'll look good and now we're just going to update the page it's about time to see what we made so let's do it i'm going to hit command t and open up that website in a new tab all right very cool so that's not what we made but the about page is what we made very nice so we can see our video background is working but we have a few more things to do we want to make sure that video background covers the whole page at the bottom including the upper part in the header and we want to make the text a little bit bolder so you can see it more clearly oh yeah and we want to add that little texture on top of the video just like you can see it is on top of the home page Okay, so to make your video cover the full screen, just come back to the editing window. And we're going to make sure we click on the settings for this whole section. And then we're just going to click height, fit to screen. Boom, and it'll jump down to the whole screen. And update. We can easily make our heading more bold just by clicking it. Click style, typography, and we're going to bring that weight up to 600. And update. Now to get that nice texture on top of the lake here so that you can read everything more clearly and it just kind of feels like we're in a nautical sort of world. We actually have to do something crazy. We're going to create a new page that we're not going to use. So I'm going to come up to new page and just call this one demo and publish it. And we're going to actually import one of the default Elementor templates which comes with that overlay pattern. So click edit with Elementor. And now click add template and now scroll all the way down to the very bottom where there's this really cool hero ui kit so we're going to insert this that's going to give us all sorts of cool images and default patterns and you might want to use these on a page of your own and that's the one we're looking for right here all right cool so with that added we're just going to update this page now we can go back to our editing window Make sure it's updated and then just refresh it. And now we can click on our section settings up at the top. And we're going to go to style. So we have the background type, but we don't have the background overlay set. So click background overlay. We're going to click on classic and we're going to choose an image here. Choose image. And now in our media library, we have these cool other images that were just imported like this laptop and whatever. This is like a piece of wood or a desert or something. And we can just click on this seemingly blank one, which is which is a brushed alum and instant media. And there you go. Now we'll update it. So that looks really cool, I think. It's all of a sudden a lot more clear. I don't know how they thought of that, but I guess they're the geniuses here and we're just the ones learning it. And so now, lastly, as I promised, I'm just going to give you guys that transparent header feature as a finale. So let's click the hamburger and now let's go exit to dashboard. And this is done in Ocean WP settings panel. So we're just going to click on header and make this header style from default to transparent. And we're going to update the page. Make sure to do that. Otherwise, you won't see your changes. All right, now let's go back and we're going to come up and we're actually going to leave this demo page because we won't need that anymore. And open up our website. And let's click to the about page. And we did it. All right, it looks beautiful now. You can use this on, of course, any page you want. 
and I think you're gonna really impress visitors. We did a pretty good job there. To be entirely complete, I wanna just come up to um, the Customize tab and show you that we did the menu and the logo up here. So back in old-fashioned WordPress, we have our menu here, which is just uh, set up to be called Header 1. That's a menu I made, and when you click on that, you see that there's just normal page tabs, so we can add and reorder them and control that from here. Pretty cool. And if we go back, we can see that that logo also lives right here in header logo. All right, so just got that logo on logo maker and just popped it in right here and then reduced the max width to 60. So that's what's going on up here in the standard WordPress customized window. Let's X out of there, click OK. And if you wanted to put that fallback image on top of the video, like how the homepage is, where you see that image of a beach before, then you can do that. That's good if people don't have fast internet, um, like me apparently, and you just need something to load, or if videos just don't load on their screen, that's gonna be necessary so they see something. That's done in Edit Elementor. Just click on the section setting again, and now come on over to Style and Background Fallout. Just click plus and you can easily grab one of the other images from our media dashboard like conveniently a image of what's in the video insert media update and now we're really in business all right we'll go back to the about page perfect so please make sure to like the video if you learned anything here comment and hit subscribe i'm greg Narayan. thanks for watching